Hi friends, welcome back to High Point again. So we started with uh, structuralism and we have already completed Charles Sanders Peirce and uh, Ferdinand de Saussure, two important figures associated to, associated to or contributed to structuralist literary criticism. Now in this video we are going to learn about another structuralist uh, critic known as Vladimir Prop and his major concepts and theories related to structuralism as well as his major text okay vladimir prop lived from uh, 1895 to 1970 and he did many structuralist studies in fairy tales and stories like that okay so before going into the video as always subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and press the bell icon while you subscribe you know why should you do that uh, in order to get notification when we upload a video in here and also follow me on instagram uh, my id is right here and uh, in my instagram you will find immense number of study materials for your nt ugc net of english language and literature and if you are looking for some serious but well arranged simplified and affordable study materials with along along with you know uh, 300 plus audio lectures and uh, pdf downloadable pdf materials and lively attemptable previous and practice question papers with free bonuses two free bonuses of uh, personalized study guideline and weekly test in every saturdays you can visit my website www.highpoint.in have the free trial and see what we have provided there and if you are interested you can chat me from there itself and also join the course as a student of a family from the website itself if you want to know anything related to the course or anything else further you can use this whatsapp number or use the instagram id to reach out to me moving on about vladimir prop let's see his life and career he was a soviet folklorist and scholar see i have already told you he has done many studies in folk tales and fairy tales as well and he was a so soviet folklorist and scholar he analyzed the basic structural elements of russian folk tales to identify the simplest irreducible structural units so he uh, studied the Russian folk tales, mainly the structural elements of Russian folk tales. Why he wanted to, and if why he strived to identify, he tried to identify their simplest irreducible. Further, that this structural uh, structure of this uh, folk tales cannot be reduced. So, irreducible structural unit. What is the very basic and elemental uh, structural unit of folk tales, Russian folk tales? That's what he was. Uh, analyzing his morphology of the folktale was published in russian in 1928 this marked him as a uh, scholar in folktale uh, structuralist uh, folktales and in structural criticism as well although it represented a breakthrough in folk in both folkloristic and morphology and influenced Claude lévi and Roland Barthes. See, these two people are too important in cultural studies and uh, both of them got influenced by morphology of the folk tales by whom prop. His morphology is used in media education and has been applied to other types of narrative, be it in literature, theatre, film, television series, games, etc. Although prop applied it specifically to the wonder of fairy tales. So he mainly applied uh, the morphology in fairy tales but uh, it was his morphological studies mainly applied not only in literature but in many other genres such as theatre, film, television series series, games, etc. In 1932, Prop became a member of uh, Leningrad, Leningrad University, formerly St. Petersburg University faculty. And later in 1938, he chaired the Department of Folklore until it became part of the Department of Russian Literature. So that was about his life and career. Now let's see his major concepts. According to Prop, based on his analysis of 100 folktales from the Corpus of Alexander Fedorovich Afansev. There were 31 basic structural elements that typically occurred within Russian fairy tales. So he basically understood and identified 31 basic structural elements. Actually, 32 are there, but mainly we have 31. He identified these 31 functions as typical of all fairy tales or wonder tales in Russian. So wonder tales. He labels certain things, certain uh, category of tales as wonder tales. And 
there are 31 functions at least typically we can find in fairy tales of varying you know not necessarily 31 will be present in every fairy tales but at least some of them will be there in the exact order from the first to the last or the last to the first these functions occurred in a specific ascending order 1 to 31 although not inclusive of all functions within any tale within each story this will you know this like i said in every other folklore these 31 or 32 elements may not be there you know all of them may not be there but there will be at least some among them but it won't appear randomly but these functions will occur in a specific ascending order like 1 to 2 or 31 this type of structural analysis of folklore is referred to as syntactmatic syntactmatic so this kind of structural analysis of folklore is known as syntactmatic this focus on the events of the story and the order in which they occur is in contrast to another form of uh, another form of analysis the pragma paradigmatic which is more typical of levi strauss's structuralist theory of mythology the 31 narratives okay 31 narratives the each function is known as each function in uh, these 31 functions are there each of these 31 functions are known as narratives okay here are the 31 elements of stories that prop identified plus their simple interpretation and discussion some of these functions generally occur in pairs and they may also be repeated initial situation so i like i said there will be an explanation a narration about the initial situation of the story after that the first narrative comes and the first sphere is introduction there are actually four spheres the first sphere is known as introduction so introduction contains steps from 1 to 7 introduces the situation and most of the main characters setting the scene for subsequent adventure so in the first introduction sphere itself you can find all the main characters the situation introduction to the situation and the setting and the uh, you know what is going to happen what is the subsequent adventure and all will be introduced in here let's see the uh, uh, seven narratives here contains first one is absentation someone goes missing second one is interdiction hero is warned violation of interdiction then reconnaissance villain seeks something then delivery the villain gains information trickery villain attempts to deceive victims so if you watch it close if you read it close and you imagine uh, you know if you analyze these uh, narratives in a folklore this is quite visible then complexity unwitting helping of the enemy next then comes second sphere the body of the story the main body story will happen in the second sphere the main story starts here extends to the departure of the hero on the main quest so the main body of the story will happen and it will extend to the departure of the hero on main on the main quest. there will be a quest a search for something maybe the heroine uh, or the uh, lady love the beloved or any uh, treasure or anything that he lost so the hero will go for departure the hero will depart for the main quest that will happen up to that the second sphere extent then the eight one is villainy and lack the need is identified what is the need that is identified the medi mediation mediation hero discovers the lack so what he is lacking what he is needed to accomplish this quest or you know what he needs to have in order to have something that that is discovered by him then uh, counter action hero chooses positive action then departure hero leaves on mission now the third sphere the donor sequence in the third sphere the hero goes in search of a method by which the solution may be reached so he starts the quest and he doesn't know what he needs to do so in the third sphere he identifies what type of method through which he can accomplish or through which he can arrive at a solution for the problem gaining the magical agent from the donor so here the donor will come and he is a magical agent and he will help uh, the hero to accomplish or arrive at a method of uh, method for method to arrive at a solution so this fear may be itself is a complete story 
ट्वेल्थ वन ट्वेल्थ नैरटीव ईज टेस्टिंग हीरो ईज चालंज टू प्रूव हीरोई क्वाटी दें रियाशन हीरो रेस्पोस् टू द टेस्ट अक्विशन हीरो गेम मैजिकल ईटम गईडें हीरो रीच डेस्टेशन स्ट्रगल हीरो एंड विल डू बैटिल दें ब्रांडिंग हीरो ईज ब्रांडेड विक्टोरी विल ईज डिफीटेड रेसल्यूशन इनीष्यल मिस्फोर्चून और लाख इज रिसोल सो दिस इट्स दिस तेर्ड स्पीयर इट्स कैन बी ए कंप्लीक् स्टोरी बट इन whole story in a whole folklore this is the third sphere now comes the fourth sphere the hero's return always uh, of often optional means may not be in every other folklore may not be this fourth sphere is present okay in the final phase of the story line the hero returns home hopefully uneventfully eventually eventfully and to a hero's welcome although this may not always be the case so this fourth sphere the return of the hero may not happen in every other folklore here comes the 20th uh, narrative return the hero set out for home pursued hero is chased rescue pursued ends arrival hero arrives unrecognized in his hometown and claim false hero makes unfounded claims then task difficult task proposed to the hero solution task is resolved recognition hero is recognized exposure false hero is exposed transfiguration hero is given a new appearance punishment villain is punished wedding hero marries and ascends the throne so these are the 31 narratives that prop identified in russian folk Lords. Now let's see the major text by him. Morphology of the tale published in nineteen twenty eight. Historical roots of the wonder tales published in nineteen forty six. Russian epic song he published from nineteen fifty five to nineteen fifty eight. Popular lyric songs published in nineteen sixty one. Russian agrarian feasts published in nineteen sixty three. Problems of comedy and laughter posthumous publication. Uh, in the year 1983 the russian folk tale again a posthumous publication happened in 1984 so these are the major works by prop he has composed many works many papers he's published i have not mentioned all of them just picked up uh, some important pause the video and read the titles again and again so that you memorize them better while you write the exam okay so that's all about vladimir prop i hope this was clear to you if not ask the questions and doubts and mention the suggestion in the comment section and also visit my website www.highpoint.in to have more a uh, comprehensible idea about what you need to study and cover for your nt ugc net jr paper 2 english preparation and also follow me on instagram at the same time use this whatsapp number in order to reach out to me okay meet you in the next video session until then stay tuned to high point and be happy wherever you are guys try for the best and tata bye bye thank you